on this week's episode, we don't talk about White Castle's being closed because Scott forgot he was to look up the fake news he reported last week, at last last week, last episode. I don't know when you're watching this, but last episode. All right. But guess what? I do find a way to talk about them anyway later in the show. Yeah, I, I figured that out too. Uh, oh, when are aliens crashing on Mars? Not a big deal. When we are the aliens. Yeah, we're so stupid. Oh, 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 what do you get when you eat Lucky Charms? Apparently, you post on IWasPoisoned.com. I didn't even know that was a thing. But Disney is going to get the last laugh in Florida. Politics. You know we don't talk about politics. Well, then, the citizens of Florida better figure out how to raise one billion would it be dollars? See, I knew it all along, but you know, Steve seen red. Oh yeah, and and Elon, he bought Twitter. Yep, yep, he, he really did that. What I need to know is when is milk, cheeseburgers, donuts, and apples not food? Well, when we talk about them on our show. Yeah, but I'm away. Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, a podcast, a live Twitch stream, and a tired scooter. Yes. Scott's been uh, doing a lot of runs lately. Scott, wait. I don't have the runs. You have the runs? No, I do not have the runs. Keeping you up? Different thing. We're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. And we've noticed that Scott has a lot of runs. Yes. Not in my stockings. I got has the runs. So Ooh, I should check this. How's this look? <gasps> I have an invisible bottle. Yay! Go down to what happened. Dot world. Uh, over here. Check oh, and maybe see. Maybe it's over here. What? What are we? Oh, doing? down here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, like, go, go to the chat. Go if you're on YouTube. Go click the like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. That helps us on Twitch. Oh. Make sure you're following us. I don't know. There's not a heart you can do for each show. So yeah. It's all good. So let's get the followership up on Twitch uh, so people can see us. Uh, check out what we're doing. If you would have been on, if you're connected to my social media, uh, you would have seen that I was at the NFL draft. Yes, you uh, were. At Vegas. Lynx. What's up? At Lynx. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. L-I-N-Q. The Link. L-I-N-K. L-I-N-Q. Yeah, the Link. Spelled L-I-N-Q. Saw it, but there weren't nothing to comment on it. No, well, always. That's because there are enough people. I don't. It's because I'm because I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible host. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting better. I promise. That's what you've been so, promising me for a lot so of years. That, that's the picture behind me. The halo there. That's the high roller. That is. Uh, you know, I play poker up there. Yep, play poker up there. But um, well, we'll flip through a few other shows. Uh, this was not at the. Um, NFL draft. However, uh, park at your own risk. The Strat is not responsible for fire, theft, or damage to vehicles or their contents, including items on or around or attached to the vehicle. So they're not responsible for the garbage can I parked next to. And when did they add fire? I don't remember fire being part of that. Right. Well, you know what the biggest thing is right now, there's a huge problem with stolen catalytic converters. So those are causing fires. I just don't remember the fires. I'm, I'm assuming so because they use torches to cut them off now. So I just thought that was weird. Because and apparently, um, they're drilling holes in gas tanks and draining the fuel out of them because most gas tanks nowadays are made out of plastic. Well, that's nice. When they were metal, you couldn't do that because you tried to drill a hole in metal, you get a spark and you go kabooey. And there it is. You are an NFL partner. NFL hospitality partner, Bud Light, Thursday, April 20th. It was cool. Um, that was the appetizers that they were giving out at Virgil's Real Barbecue. That was a really cool place. That's Mike Gullick. He was the uh, host. He was the moderator. And then they announce, and then this guy shows up. And I'm like, wait, he's a Green Bay Packer. No, he is now on the Raiders. Whoa. Music. We so he is like on, music. Uh, what? We like music. Oh yeah. So yeah, so that's Devontae Adams. 
Devontae Adams is now you should know him because he was a Green Bay Packer. That's but correct. He is arguably one of the best wide receivers in the league right now. That's crazy. He does not need to stick him on his hands. And then that's Josh Jacobs. He's a running back for the uh, for the Raiders. So these guys were super cool. That was great. Great QA thing. Great. They talked about, you know, their experience in the NFL and them coming there. And it was it was very, very, very cool. Oh, we'll talk about those later. Then out on the link, they had these things all set up all over where like everybody was doing some kind of show. They had, you had the screen back there for the big stage. Uh, Power and barley brick oven pizza. That yeah, kind of sounds good. And this is the hospitality room, the second hospitality room. We're in. There is a bar here, a buffet back there, dessert bars on the side. Then this had access. That's one of the stages that that exit. Oh, I don't have the other picture up there. Dang it. But this had access to the big stage for the, uh, which you have to look on my uh, Instagram to see. But what they announced everybody, they say, and now the pick for the uh, round one. And But the funniest thing that I saw about the whole thing during the picks, uh, the, down in the center, they have like all the teams, right? Represented like they they section them. There's like 20 people or 40 people that all have the same uniform on, like you know, for fans of that group. And when they go now for the Jacksonville Jaguar pick, and they they zoom in on that part of the crowd. And I think it was pick five or whatever when the uh, no, it was the Panthers. Yeah, the Panthers. Uh, but no, no, it was the I don't remember who it was. But they they go to the thing and they announce uh, the fifth round pick or something like Tova or something like that. He's a He's a lineman. And the lady on the screen goes, who's that? <laughs> and, and then she looks over, sees the cameras, and she goes, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oops! <laughs> like, they're like, well, this this year, there weren't a lot of uh, big-name, like, quarterbacks. There's only a couple quarterbacks, and, like, they didn't go till very late. Um. So, well, yeah, right now everybody seems to have decent quarterbacks. They're looking for right. They're, they're looking for defensive linemen and linemen. You know, with the wide receivers, there was a pretty good wide receiver class, uh, about five or six of those. And they all went in the first round. The good ones did. So, yeah, it was just weird. But it was pretty cool to say we went and did it. But going in and having the VIP experience and, and doing it that way was really, really, really cool. So that was fun. And, and to, so I'm doing new stuff. And the picture behind me, uh, picture behind you, you're kind of stuck on vacation, it looks like. Well, I've been going crazy. I haven't had time to take any new pictures. I should have put my daffodils up because the daffodils open. I did take that picture, but I was in a hurry. Yeah, I know, I know what that's like. Oh, boy, this is good stuff. As we both take drinks at the same time. So is that your diet stuff that you can't get in the right size? No, this is diet. Uh, this is squirt zero sugar. You can't see it because it's green. Let's see, there we go. Squirt. See, squirt. Hold it in front of your face. What well, is in front of my? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, dude. Yeah. 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 I get it now. But the, right. green, the green mug goes in front of my face, and it goes invisible, doesn't it? Well, when you put it in front of your face, if you put it over, but if you put it in front of your face, you can see it. Um, so did you do your homework? I had homework? Yes, from the last show. I did? You did. I don't remember. Okay, you said that a majority of White Castles closed down for COVID. Oh, yeah, I never called them because by the time I, re- I completely forgot. Didn't happen. Don't know show. Didn't happen. Just so you know, didn't happen. Well, all the ones that I can get to were closed. No. Well, yeah, okay, well, that's fine. But I did find uh, I did find this article. So I couldn't find an article where any of them closed because they didn't close. But I don't know how many people have seen my castles, but I want to know who the hell approved this article. Okay? You ready for this? Here's the article. Okay. What the hell is that a picture of? I see the White Castle in the background. But uh, I'm sorry, Drew Anger, or whoever you are. That is not what a White Castle hamburger looks like. The meat does not look like that. No, okay. it's not. Picture two. Yeah. That is not a White Castle hamburger. It's certainly not. Picture three. 
not a white. That is not how the meat looks on a White Castle hamburger. <laughs> that's a White Castle. That's correct. That's the water tower. White Castle, but not a restaurant. That's the water tower that, that was inspired the, the White Castle. Oh, uh, this is so good. That's a White Castle. Okay. That's, that's more what the burgers look like. Look how yeah. thin they are. They're like little wafers. Okay, good. Don't know where this guy's from, but that is not. No. Okay, those are know what newspapers look like. Again, where did you get these pictures? How? Who? Who? No. Yeah, that's what Harold and Kumar look like. Uh, I don't know why musicians look like that. Uh, Hall of Fame he's in. Uh, I don't know why they get romantic for Valentine's Day, whatever. Yes, there is a uh, stuffing recipe for Thanksgiving Day with White Castle hamburgers. Correct. Uh, that is not it. Exactly. That is just regular stuffing again. Okay. That is not even Ew, close. Not even close. A White Castle hamburger. Uh, they need a, a picture with a candle in it. Sorry. No. Okay. Yes. That's a White Castle. Yeah. Yes. It did go to open in Las Vegas. Um, Are they still there? Who? Yeah. White Castle Las Vegas. Oh, awesome. They didn't close again. They opened up more. God. It's in the Casino Royale right there. Cool beat. Uh, across from the volcano, which is now going to be a guitar. That is what sliders look like. It is correct. Or the plant-based side, but that's what they look like. That's what cheeseburgers look like. Um, that's what a White Castle looks like. I, yeah, okay, so there it is. Who the hell found those pictures and approved those for those? That person who wrote that article, I, who cares about <laughs> that? I never saw a White Castle hammer before. <laughs> Obviously. That was awful. It was <laughs> so so I saw that. And I was searching for the answer to your fallacy that 51% of all the White Castles closed during the pandemic. What do you think about Phallic? What do you think? Well, phallic what? Yeah, that's what all you think about. Yeah, I'm a guy. How often do men think about sex? We talked about this on the show. Oh, what was it? 21 seconds or something? Yeah. I mean, it's not really true, but it's funny. What? That is true. No, you, it, it can't be every 21 seconds. You get nothing done. Okay, have you seen a guy? Have you seen men lately? No. It's really only 19 thoughts a day. There you go, see? But still, that's the average man. And I'm going to say this probably, probably pretty close. But CBS says men think about sex every seven seconds. Okay. So. 8,000 times in a 16 and 16 waking hours. It works for me. Yeah. Well, it better work because you're thinking. Okay. Well, we don't have to talk about my background picture because, again, it's from my vacation and that's the ocean. And that's what are the white things out across the top of your head there? Is there some kind of like a barrier out there? Yeah. Well, those are buoys for the swim area. Not that far. Yeah. If you go past those buoys, that's where the boats go. Wow. That's a long way to swim out. Well, you can walk almost the whole way. <laughs> I heard a joke. Uh, I about, heard a joke. About somebody from the Olympics, one of the swimmers, was on, a, on his honeymoon in um, Hawaii, and he is now missing. He went for a swim, and there was no wall for him to turn around. Okay. Terrible joke. No, it's a great joke. Terrible joke. That's a great joke. That's a good joke. All right. So, should we go to our first uh, official subject that you put in? We're talking about WC Fields. What? Do we have an article about WC Fields? Where do you see WC Fields? That's White Castle, dumbass. Oh. I already did that. Well, that is the first official one then. Yeah, we already did that. So what's the next subject? Oh, oh, did you know that an alien spacecraft crashed on Mars? Yeah, it was us. It was us. <laughs> yeah, like, duh. Okay, we're so stupid. We see something crashed on the planet and go, oh, my God. How'd that get there? It was from our freaking rover. It was the it was the landing pod and parachute from our rover. So yeah. the helicopter came in a separate 
landing thing yeah and it hovered over it and it saw it and like oh my god look at this picture it's an alien spacecraft that crashed on it's true it is an alien spacecraft it's, yeah it's not it's from mars from, but it's well it's not from any other planet it's it's from earth it's us we're the aliens you dumbasses <laughs> i i saw that air i says i gotta put this here because this is funny it was stupid it was stupid it was so stupid I would yeah do- yeah but, no, so hey, but they're still excited though, because the, uh, here's something that a lot of people ooh, here's something a lot of people do not realize. Mars. Well, okay, when everything we know about um, landing, Mars, Elon Musk taught us. Well, yeah, everything we know about landing is to do with the moon because we've had multiple landings at the moon, and the moon has a very low gravity compared to Earth. So things are different. Well, Mars has a strong gravity. as It's not quite as strong as the Earth, but it's much stronger than the moon. And apparently, we have to learn how to land on Mars before we land on Mars with people. And this information... Before we crash. To, right. Apparently, the, um, the, 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 part, the thing that they found, I keep forgetting what, it's, what it was called. It was a parachute and something else. Um, hit at like 80 miles an hour, which is pretty, or 80 kilometers an hour. I think they use kilometers, which is still pretty fast. So they need to slow that 50 down. 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Because uh, if you look at the picture, which we did not share with you, the damn thing is because, pretty because we don't have the rights to it. Yeah. Whatever. It flattened like a pancake. So um, it's, it's information that will help with the future. By the way, I just started reading a new series, and it's all about how we started going into space. You know, we started going into space like in the '60s, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about much farther. Besides, not in our so out of excuse me, getting out of our solar system. <laughs> yeah, we need to get out of our comfort system. It's how you grow. So you're distracted with work. So I will go on to the next one. So remember all these people that are getting sick for eating boxes and boxes of Lucky Charms? No. Oh, yeah, it's it's a big thing. Yeah, the FDA is supposed to be investigating. They'll get around to it. But in the meantime, uh, meantime, there's a lot of people complaining that their kids are getting sick after eating 10 bowls of... uh, Is it magically delicious? Lucky Charms, just the mushrooms, or just the mushrooms. Yeah, if you you ate 10 bowls of mushrooms, you're doing shrooms. Yeah, but um, no, Lucky Charms, and uh, you know they're, they're getting sick. They're getting uh, uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, upset stomach, diarrhea, Pepto Bismol. Um, so there's a website. <laughs> that you can track all this stuff. I see check that. Out the, check out the. I was poisoned. Dot com. What a guy. I was poisoned. I was poisoned. So, yeah, I mean, there's some stuff of personal stuff, Jimmy John's, whatever, whatever. But here, Lucky Charms, Florence, South Carolina, right? Right. I've always loved Lucky Charms and just got in the mood. Wait, what is that? What, okay, if you're doing that with the Lucky Charms, no wonder why you're getting sick. Okay? And that, they're not supposed to get you in the mood. They're Papa John's, O'Reilly's, guacamole. Yeah, no shit, guacamole. I left it out in the sun, and then we got sick eating it. Uh, okay. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know if it said that or not. Um, um, wait, what does it say here? Recently featured press to insurgent reports for Lucky Charms breakfast cereal. And FDA has since lost an investigation. Wow, boss. No, Lucky Charms. This week after eating Lucky Charms, I've never, ever get diarrhea. Okay, that's a lie. But I knew something was wrong. Lucky Charms. Drink 10 beers. Why would you drink 10 beers? Exactly. You drank you drink Lucky Charms with beer. Interesting. Uh, what's more Lucky Charms? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but you're going through so fast that I can't keep up on it. Well, I don't want you to be able to keep up on it. That's the whole point. Oh, just stop you you times. There we go. Lucky charms. Nothing else I can think of. Symptoms: diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. 
Lucky Charms, Dollar General store. I had eight Lucky Charms. I was hospitalized. Well, okay, if you were hospitalized, what were you, what did they say? Exactly. You know, they would know. Where are the dates on these? Lucky Charms, a day ago. This is all current still. This is all current news. Recently ate Lucky Charms. Been sick and puking for the past two to three weeks. Posted it one day ago. Uh, Lucky Charms. Jackson, uh, I was hungry and had no food at home. So why not eat some Lucky Charms? Okay, if you know about this website, what the hell are you doing? If you already know about the website, the articles are already out there. What kind right. of idiot are you? But I didn't know there was a thing. And just I was crazy. Did you, did you check um, Snopes to see what they say? Oh, no. It just, yeah, Snopes, it's a legit site. And there is something going on with Lucky Charms. It's been reported on the main um, main news uh, outlets. Search it up. Lucky Charms, people getting sick. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. Watch. Lucky Charms getting sick. And do it. Faster. You are so slow at this. Now you're typing. Man, you are. It's like crazy. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Okay. See it? All over the news. But yeah, I, I was just, I was, I was, I was amazed that uh, Lucky Charms, uh, that there was a I was poisoned. There you go. Did you find it? No, well, I, I saw a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, a lot of it, right? So it's legit. Yeah. The Don't Know Show knows that it's like all over the place. So if you're still getting sick from it at this point, you're deserve it. Yeah, because you're a moron. Yeah. Well, although if you, you, if, you, if you want to lose some weight, I'm telling you. Oh yeah. Or if you need a colon cleanse, that's the way to do it. So I don't know if you've been watching the news or or hearing anything. We don't normally do politics, but this is a pretty big story. So you know who DeSantis is in Florida? Yes. Who is he? He's the governor. Right. So he's pissed at Disney. Yes. Because Disney spoke poorly about the, the new law that they put where kids can't talk about being gay in school. Correct. And they said that's not right. So he's going to fix them. Yes. He created a bill that would take away their, they have some kind of special thing where they're their own government. Correct. Right? They pay their own taxes. They do their own. They're responsible for their own, whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, it got passed. Yes. And they, they, the Florida legislator on Thursday cleared a bill that would dissolve Disney's special uh, improvement district effective June of 2023. They better rescind this. Yeah, I know. It's going to cost them millions. Billions would it be. Yeah. So uh, they're now going to have to pay to remove Disney's garbage. Plus, the way that they were operating it, they were operating it in debt. So there is a like a uh, a one billion dollar bond that the people for Orange County and Osceola counties will have to pick up correct billion would it be yeah so good job yeah florida makers passed the bill good job how you know you know i, I love that you want to and this guy's a republican too so you know yeah. it's not like i'm like you know it, our government is too big we need to downsize our government it is ridiculous it is absolutely ridiculous because, you know, don't say it. it's just we're so far past that it's 2022 for Christ's sake. That's right. Stop being stupid, people. Well, it's not going to happen. What's not going to happen? Stupid gets you more ratings on TV. Well, people being controlled by the government has got to stop. You know, another thing that they have is they have this uh, this whole you can't, you know, and you don't know how to invest your money. You're not smart enough. Right, eighteen-year-old kids can buy AK-47s. Twenty eighteen-year-old kids can vote. 
but nobody of any age is qualified to invest their money. It's like, I think, I think only like 13% of all the people in the United States even qualified to be a qualified investor. Yeah. And then all the rules that they have for like, if you got to do day trading and stuff like that. Oh, we're protecting the people so they don't lose their money. No, you're not. No. You're protecting the people who money. have money well, to get correct. more money. Yes. 100% correct. So don't give us bullshit. Do a test. Teach it in the school. Make it a class. That's the best thing I heard. Make it a class in school. You want you want generational wealth? Make this a class in school. You pass this class, you get a certificate, then you can do this trading. But yeah, no, the government's being stupid. The gov- our government sucks. Um, you know, we don't talk government, but let's face facts. Um, New Zealand and Australia are starting to look more appealing. New Zealand more than Australia. Why? If you go there, you can eat kiwis. <laughs> After what you told me earlier, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Give me a <laughs> uh, So, yeah. So, uh, can you believe that? That's just crazy. Yes, I can believe that because I avoid the news because I'm tired of the stupidity. I do like this next next subject because one of the things that is missing is transparency. And apparently somebody figured out how to make that better. Well, it's it's a big thing right now. The big thing in the news right now is, well, not the news, in fashion, glass handbags. Handbags made out of actual glass. Yes. Kylie Jenner was carrying one, but I mean, look. Yep. It's, a, it's, it's a glass handbag. Yep. I mean, it's pretty heavy glass. That's the problem. Right off the bat, I'm saying that's heavy. So, you know, if you drop it, it's probably probably not going to break. But, yeah, but, it's but great to drop it on. Guess how much these bags cost? Three, four bucks. Look, there, there's you got lipstick in there, too. Lipstick. Most of them are empty. It's just stupid. You got to put something in there. Something like this one. You just put candy. Oh, that red one looks like it's got a, a human, uh, an, an, an organ. Could be. That'd be something to put in there. Yeah, she got candy in hers. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> but the price, two thousand seven hundred dollars. Okay, you do realize that when people have a lot of money, they have to always come up with new goofy ass shit to spend lots of money on. Otherwise, what good is our money for? How about this acrylic one right here? Only 20 bucks. How about this one? Only four bucks. That's because it's made out of acrylic. Instead of, get it made out of acrylic. Get it made out of acrylic. A lot less weight. And except in cold weather, they're more durable. And they're cheaper. Look. Look, cheaper. 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 So, so all those people be laughing at me going, you're probably the guy who buys the knockoff of purses. Well, no, I don't. I don't. I don't buy purses. So, you buy purses? I, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't have any purses. I'm kind of bummed about that. I got a man bag. It's called a fanny pack. A what? Fanny pack. I wear fanny pack. Whenever I go, I wear a fanny pack. That's Except I don't wear it on my fanny, I wear it on my hip. That's not what a man bag is. You don't know what a man bag is? It's not a fanny pack. I know that, they're, but they're usually leather satchels that go over your shoulder. Yeah, they're satchels, exactly. If you would have said a satchel, then I would go, yes. But it, no, it is not a fanny pack. It's my pack man bag. Still a fanny pack. You're weird. Do you remember when um, Kevin Hart and oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. The big guy with muscles, not the rock, um, uh, not Dwayne Johnson. Do I need to cut all the rest of our articles out? Or to the to the uh, genuine positivity message? I think I do. Well, 
Maybe because there's a lot more after it, isn't there? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to here. I'll pull you because there's a couple good ones in here. I want to do them, but oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. That's uh, okay. I didn't. There's one I wanted to do, but okay. I'll just cut all those. I did get crazy on show subjects this week. All right. Yes, you did. Up. All right. Central intelligence. That's what it is. So, so Neat Burger is the next one. Did you know there was a company called Neat Burger? Uh, I did not, but it would make perfect sense to me. What was the name of the one with okay. um, nope. Keel and Kyle? Kyle and wasn't that Neat Burger? What was it? Go, oh, no, that's Good Burger. Good Burger. Good Burger. You know what Neat Burger is, right? Not real meat. Right. Neat Burger is a vegan company. Okay. I just took a guess because it sounded like it would be. It's a game changer. Guess who just invested money in that company? You did. No. Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Neat plans to debut its award-winning burger patty, fish fillet, and a range of other IP-owned products, including um, improv versions of its chicken patty, hot dog, nugget, and shakes by the end of the year in New York. Times oh, um, ba, da, 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 ba, oh. How crazy is that? Cuckoo bonkers, because I'm thinking with these science fiction books that I've been reading, um, more and more of the outer planets, because they can't grow food on them, grow everything in vats, and it's all made out of vegetables. As, as noted environmental activist Leonardo Capri says, disrupting the system with sustainable, alternate, uh, sustainable alternatives is key to reducing global emissions. Has he never been around a person who's, who eats a lot of vegan food? They have a lot of emissions. Yes, they do. Meat burger's pioneering approach to alternative protein is a great example of the type of solution we need to get moving forward. You know what? There are great, uh, like black bean burgers and stuff like that. Um, but just don't call them hamburgers. They're not hamburger substitutes. They're good for what they are, and they're really good. So just eat that. Yeah, call them call them bean patties. He's investing in all kinds of stuff. Just so you know. Well, he's filthy rich. He can afford it. Is he? You know what I'm going to invest in? What? I have no idea because I don't have any money to invest with. Oh, yeah. He invested in an alt dairy. Okay. We got a real dairy down the street here. Yeah. He invested in an alt one because he's got money to invest in an alt one. You know what the, what the new license plate or bumper stickers for up here say, you don't you? Eat more chicken? They, no. They, they, bought, they were they bought by dairy air. They were what? Welcome to Wisconsin. Smell our dairy air. As you know, cows eat our vegetarian. So yeah, they're, they, they're, they're always a lot. Yeah. they're always contributing to the carbon footprint. So yeah, so so Leo's investing in a lot of vegan stuff. Which which brings us Do they all come in red boxes? What? There's all his stuff come in red boxes. Well, okay. So you saw the picture earlier that I said I was gonna come back to. Did you notice something? That's a like, box burger. Wait, where's the picture? I don't know. On your computer. Here it is. All right. Let me go here. I just noticed this after, after we start talking about it. It's not food in general. It's vending in general. Yes. Why are vending boxes red? Is that the one in, uh, that you walked past when you were doing the tour? That's the one that I walked past. That's outside. But remember the pizza one I showed you? Yes. Whoa. What the heck did I just do? Undo that. Wasn't there also a cupcake one? Uh, there's a cupcake one out there. Yes. Uh, why is this not opening? Here we go. So, so check this shit out. Look at vending machines. Candy machines. Remember little candy bubblegum machines? Yep. They were red. Yes, they are. The soda machines, well, obviously Coca-Cola. But why, why is there's a blue one? Where'd that come from? 
Coca Cola definitely red. But why are vending at hospital with Coca Cola in it? I don't understand. It's correct. But it's a purple one too. But most of them are red. Yes. Like like even the vending machine in the video game uh, Fortnite malfunctioning is red. That is correct. What? Why? It attracts attention. That's why Campbell's soups cans are red. Yeah. And red. Cigarette machines, red. There's the Trishna Bumgall machine. Red. And you know what the coolest thing about red stuff is? It fades faster than almost any other color. Red boxes are red. But look. Yeah, it would be really majority, weird if a red box was a different color. A majority of all vending machines are red. And it don't it's know red. show. Didn't know that till just now. Even the big red machine is red. Uh, certainly is. CVS vending machine. Red. There's the pizza machine. Let's pizza. Red. Pizza, pizza. Weird, right? No. Did you notice that? Did you know that? I've known that for probably 30 some odd years. That most vending machines are red. Yes. I don't think you knew that. I did know that because my yeah. neighbor was a vending machine sale. company. Red Sox baseball tickets in nope. a red machine. The one that wasn't red was, was the Mountain Dew machines, raw green. Red. Or Majority of vending the machines are red. Were red. Which was kind of weird. Very weird. Red. Okay. I can't help it. It's just, it was weird to me. I know, because it's weird to you. I get it. I get it. Red. Why are they all red? It attracts attention. Very simple. Oh, come on. So you can't lose them. You're excited, Darren. So you can't lose them. You're distracted. Well, we do have a... You're doing work. A, well, that's the problem. Because I got these airport runs I got to do, and they're all verifying or canceling or doing anything they need to do. And now I just got, I just got one from somebody who's just saying, Hi. How cool is that? Well, tell them to tune in so you can watch the rest of the show. Yeah. Send them the link. But it's time for our genuine positivity message. It is? It is. We're, yeah, I cut out a bunch of subjects so we can get there. Yay. I mean, technically, it was time six minutes ago, but whatever. It wasn't. There is no set time. Whatever. whatever. Just say whatever. There is no set time. Only in your mind. Well, the time right now is for me to get back into shape. And I've been doing really good on my diet. And I'm going to give you an update after your genuine positivity message. Okay. Well, here we go. Most people get upset when they lose something. I lost some weight. You know, I'm not upset because I know I'll find it again. Yeah. So um, I told you about my crazy ass body and my hyperactivity and how I went on thermogenics in the beginning of March and ended up gaining 20 pounds. <laughs> so, mm, well, I've almost got the 20 pounds taken off. So I took off five pounds the first week. I took off 4.4 pounds the second week. I'm trying to take out three pounds a week. So now you're almost this, naked. What's that? So now you're almost naked. <laughs> no. Not even close. Three pounds for your jeans. I gained five pounds for your shoes. Um, so this week I was looking at my track again to lose at least four pounds. So that's good. So I'm losing again. So yay for me. Yay. Um, yeah, I, I just have a way too, where's that scratch at? Driving me crazy. No, oh, not, not a big smear. Okay. Well, it's not scratch. Yeah, you do. You have a nice big smear. So now it's a big smear there. Are so you going to be a smear uh, That's even worse. Um, so yeah, so I'm finally, I had one of those Bebo things. I don't know where it is. Oh, well, that's better. More hey, that's just, better. Okay. Again, if your eyes can see everything and interpret everything, right? Why can't it interpret things that are out of focus? Why can't it adjust for that? The don't know show doesn't know. That doesn't make sense. Okay. I am, 
I am interpreting things. I, my eyes are interpreting what's out there. But when it comes to being out of focus, you can't figure that out. Why? Well, I would be willing to bet that if everything was always out of focus for you, you would learn to, to be able to tell things apart out of focus. No, because people go blind. He was getting blurry, blurry, blurry until you go blind. Doesn't make sense. Wow. Something weird there. It is maybe, crazy. Maybe it's part of a larger plan. Yeah, whatever it is. Speaking of plans, Elon Musk did it. Did you see that? Did you see what um, Elon Musk did? I heard a rumor that he does have a couple children. Well, of course he did it. He has a couple? I have no idea. I'm just guessing. I don't know anything about the man, except he's really, really wealthy. So uh, the deal finally got penned. Well, I don't know if it's final. But yeah, he, he, Twitter and Twitter's like, oh, we're not going to do it. They did the poison pill thing last time we talked about that. He did it. $44 billion. And he bought Twitter. Bought Twitter. Can you believe that? Well, it makes perfect sense to me because now so he now, read all he wants. So, so, so everybody was bitching about free speech, free speech, free speech, right? Should I be able to do it? Should be able to have it. Now, Elon Musk gets it saying you do free speech, and everybody's going, oh my God, he's going to do free speech. <laughs> nobody's happy. Nobody, nobody's happy. Well, no, because last time they let everybody say whatever they want. That's where all the misinformation came from. Uh, okay. There's a difference between disinformation and saying whatever you want. Yes. Right, there's crazy people out there. There are a lot of crazy um, people. Out there. You know, case in point, our our orange leader, the man, a man went crazy and would tweet at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, in, in New York time. I, what like what time zone is this man? Like I don't know, working right. Right. Who knows? All right, let me open up. So now we're going to do a lot of food-related stuff. Okay. I like food. Guess what I had for dinner tonight? Okay. First one. You're not going to guess? What you had for dinner? What did I have for dinner? And what did Susie have for dinner? Uh, you guys went out and you went to the Mexican place. I had an airport run in Milwaukee. Susie stayed home. On the way back from Milwaukee, I picked up some dinner. KFC. Ew. I had to pick it up in Milwaukee because it's the closest. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Finger licking good. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, I got I got it. Trust me. I got it. No, no. This was Portillo. Brought stop. Oh, you got Portillo's? Portillo's. Yes. We have three of them in Wisconsin. Oh, nice. What do you eat? A combo with cheddar cheese and dipped. Oh, you do the combo. Yeah. I just like the beef. I don't like the combo. Oh, it's it. too it's too it's too many tastes together. No, I was watching is it awesome. I was watching uh a comedy show that was filmed in New York uh at the uh comedy cellar. There's only two comedy cellars. There's one out here in in, uh, in Vegas now at the Rio. Great place to go see comedy. Um, but it was David Tell, Jeff Ross, uh Gilbert Gottfried, and um Oh, God, I can't think of his name. The guy from Fuller House. But um, they all went out to eat after the show. They put a little clip in there, and they had the good sandwiches. I'm like, why can't you find sandwiches like that out here? Right. Like you're all thin, barely filled. They had a big freak. Oh, it was so good. Corned beef sandwich, but whatever. Um, so after mentioning I'm on my diet, I'm, I'm suffering with food. So I'm going to do a bunch of food-related stuff. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is milk considered food? I guess so. What would you consider? A drink? A drink, yeah. A food drink? Obviously. It's still food, food related. Food. Yeah. But but this has nothing to do with, with food. So, okay. so I'm I'm finding I'm finding there are other things besides food in life. And I'm trying to get rid of those substitutes. And my rewards for losing weight are not food related this time. <laughs> okay. Last time I did a diet when I lost 20 pounds, like, oh good, I can go eat at this bread restaurant. No, that not <laughs> Um, mm. um, but this place is this design milk had this thing on hit the road with the coolest modern campers, RVs, and trailers. So, do you want to see what they are considering the coolest 
like that was going to be one of my rewards was to either rent an RV or something and go on a trip. Okay. Big, right. Yeah. So here it is. Look at this one. This one of those little, it's a droplet. Uh, those are cool, right? Yeah. And I could tow that behind my RAV4. Sure. This next one is not a, a but, but I mean, look at these things. They, some of these are pretty cool. Look at that one. How cool is that one? We have hundreds of them around us. I know you do, but I don't. I mean, well, I do too. Here's the Airstream. Airstreams are still cool. But these things have come a long way, man. Yes, they have. That's a mini Airstream. See it? Yes. I mean, you know, that's something you could tow behind something. This is called a, a happier camper. Look at that. It's like an Airstream, but it's not metal. It's plastic. Right. Or fiberglass. 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 But cool, right? Totally radical. Cool. Look, at, look, at how, look, at how, look at that. Look at the inside of this one. This is the tag teardrop. Look at that. Look at how small it is. You can blow that up on a motorcycle. I mean, that would be cool to go do. This is a nicer one. Escape. Check that out. There's wheels. Yeah, that's a mini home. Isn't that cool? It's yeah. slanted rough. I, I can't see driving on the road with that very far. No. Look at this one. Another mini one, right? This is all electric. <laughs> that would be cool behind the uh, the Tesla right. uh, yeah, pickup, pickup yeah. truck. Or the Batmobile. Right? Here's another Airstream. But look at, they're smaller. They're cooler looking. I mean, yeah. that's pretty cool. I, I, mean, I, don't I, don't know, I would do this for a short trip, you know, maybe go, I don't know where. The Earth Rover, but that's that's one of my rewards. So one of my rewards is this. One of, look at look at this. Look at this Earth Rover. Look at look at the seating, the, the grandma's attic. Look, look, look. That's, what, what? that's cool. Yes. It almost looks like one of my buses. Now, this is how you do it. You put the tent up oh, on yeah. the top so it gets taller so you can stand up in it. The cricket. But just so you know, those tent ones, they do not stay warm. They do not stay cold. I'm in Vegas, baby. Uh, at night, it's cold. It'll be perfect. But yeah, so those are the, uh, so that's milk. Yep. That's cool, right? It's cool. All right. I didn't know this was a thing either. There's a, a website called Cheeseburger. C-H-E-E-Z Burger. Cheeseburger. And they, and, they, and they do Tinder moments. Like Tinder posts. Okay. So I'm like, really? They do Tinder posts? Okay. Yeah. And they critique them. So I'm like, okay, this is actually mildly entertaining. Yo, WTF, is this 2004? And you a skater dude? Effing saying hello. You're too short for that shit. So the guy started to text with yo. Yeah. And the girl just goes off on him. It's another way to say hello. Lay him out and chill out. I don't care if I chill out. You're here for a month. So, boom, that, that one ended. Okay, Erica, 18. Okay, I like to be wine to dine after I've been effed. Okay, good for her. All the bio said was, hate small talk. Do you hate big talk, too? Can't say that I do. Okay, cool. Weather is finally getting. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, all right. Account ran by a friend. Friends, you are not talking to like a, until you are deemed fit. Be prepared for a question here in the DMs. There you go. His friends looking out for her. Oh, great. Uh, I've been getting uh, loads of messages from old matches today. Is anyone else? Hi. Hey. Hello, mate. I messaged you about six weeks ago. Moved yeah. across the world. Fell in love. Saw my mother die. And, and said hi to you six years ago. <laughs> okay, whatever. I didn't get that one. Sorry, not Don. No difference between me and my couch? Hmm, let me guess. Your couch? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny. You can read it while it's on the screen. 
Uh, here's a performance manager. I don't know why this guy's in underwear behind her, but okay, what kind of performance she's worried about? Perform, yeah. About me. All I want is a cute college boy who, well, okay. Hey. Want to go to one of those places where we can make uh, your food in front of you? I forget what they're called. Hibachi? <laughs> I'm down. No, no, no. I was thinking of Subway. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Google. Okay, what was this? What's this one? 21. I don't know which one you get there. They all got their white claw, though. Those things are disgusting. Uh, we'll bet you look good. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's Tinder. It's a sex site. What else do you want them to be about? Just two besties looking for some testies. Well, at least that was to the point. <laughs> Me. Not getting any likes. Changes preference to men. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Ah! Uh, almost lost his cool for a second. They're pretty mad. It's cool. Couldn't have hit anyways. Uh, do you hope to get a car accident? Hope whoever doesn't chops you up and mails you back to your parents in pieces, you worthless pieces. Wow. Wow. You're lucky I didn't chill. I would have skinned you and thrown you in the lake. Okay. So kind of kind of weird though. Kind of funny that they post these things. Yes. So I guess it's the modern day uh what do they call that? Uh in Playboy, they had the Playboy advisor. But now it's Tinder advisor or whatever. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah, kind of weird. Hey, my screen's kind of got weird with the rebalance the lighting since the lighting is going down. Uh it's a little better. Yeah, it got dark out. Yep. Hey, guess what? What? More food. The donut food. maker got hired. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I like donuts. The donut maker got hired. There it is. After the thing, he's a content creator. He drives a Dodge Charger. S- yeah, because they gave him one. First, uh, those first are car fixed up. Was his power hot nuts. Preston, remember we talked about this competition? Yeah. Where you'd get, you'd get $150,000 salary. And a company challenger for one year. Then you get to go to the events. You'll be a content creator. That's the guy. Preston. There you go. There was a whole show, I guess. Three I, episodes. Um doing it. Susie flicked through it, saw it, and says, no, nope, and went back to one of her other HGTV ones. What? What? I, I don't know what you said. When Susie watches TV on the weekends, she sees all those kind of shows, but she always invariably ends up with one of the HGTV ones. No. Oh. These are all the finalists here. Look. There was even a Vegas finalist. I don't know her. You think I know everybody in Vegas? You know, there's only like six people living there, so I don't know why you know. Yeah, apparently. So I guess there was a show, so you can go on the Dodge Garage and Dodge yeah, Garage. You just on your own. But then we don't get in trouble for sharing. Oh, wait, we already shared. Yeah, well, they, they, it's advertising for them. If they want to take it down, they can take it down. That'd be stupid on their part. Yes. So, Apple, more food. Yay. I, I bought apples at the grocery store, and they're really no. So, what's the biggest complaint about apples? Worms. No. The fact that you could not repair them. You had to take them to a genius to get them fixed. Oh, well, guess oh, what? You're talking about Apple electronic products. Guess what? Apple announced a self-repair is now available, providing repair manuals and genuine Apple parts and tools through the Apple self-repair service. Self-repair yes. service is now available. 95. I didn't hear you. Four ninety nine ninety five. dollars No. But check this out. You get like a little holder and everything to put your Apple in. Then you get to tear it apart and try and fix it yourself. I, I, you know what? No, they're charging thousands of dollars, and they have Apple Care. Screw that! I'm taking it back in. If it's broke, they can fix it, and they can. Uh, Apple, Apple off of tool rental kits for forty nine dollars. You got to pay to do your own work. 
just to pay the Apple Care and take it in. I'm, I'm no, I no, 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 and no. How is it? If you don't have the parts and you can't fix it, it's not going to be any faster for you to fix it. No, yeah. it is like self checkout at this point. No, not doing it. <laughs> no, they just That's remodeled our, our Walmart and literally added four times the amount of self checkouts. Now there's only like six lines of people. Right. And I deliberately screw it up every time. Yeah. My brother will not use self-checkout at all. But if you can't get help, what are you going to do? They're not giving me any cheaper food or groceries because I'm doing the work. I make Walmart check me out. It's ridiculous. All right. Last thing on food. And then we'll go to our word of the week. I, I saw this and I was like, match these. Oh, I thought we were going to eat mascots. You just had me worried. Hey, why is this not working now? All right, let, let's see if this it's even around. works. It yeah. worked. It worked, then it didn't work, then it worked, then it didn't work. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What's this mascot? We already did this one. That's Colonel Sand. Yeah, what's the company? Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right. Great. Represented what mascot? Only the bigger with, with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Yep. Got it right. Okay, correct. Do you remember this mascot? Pillsbury Doughboy. Pillsbury Company. Okay. Six. I wish it would fit on the screen. How about this one? Uh, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Yep. Oh, Morris. Uh, there's choices. Oh, there's choices. Uh, nine lives, yeah. Yeah. This one's easy. Uh, crack a pop, rice fifties. All right. I believe is that oh yeah, it's Borden. Yeah, that, Borden. It's Bessie, yeah. Bessie. Elsie the cow. Elsie. Elsie. And Bessie was um oh shoot. Uh, this guy's dead. They killed him. Mr. You remember that? They, uh, they killed Peter. him. Why did they kill him? They killed him. Uh, oh, doesn't say they killed him. They killed him. They already did this one. Uh, are you cuckoo? Who are you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? All right. <laughs> who is that? Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the original. Yes, I know. Well, it's McDonald's, but it's not Ronald McDonald. Oh, shit. I even know the guy who know what they called him. Oh my God! That was remember. Ronald McDonald. That was the name. Willard Scott holds the title, being the first ever Ronald back in the '60s. That's Willard Scott, baby. It was Ronald. It was always Ronald. All right, what brand does the uh, the the Lion Fiat of Vegas have? Extra Golden Meyer. MGM, baby. They even have it out in front of the casino. Yeah. Here you go. This is a tough one. Which oh. brands associate with this one? I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. There's your choices. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Campbell Soup. Yep. The elves. Healer elves. That's the it's right there. I know. <laughs> like, uh, the other one at least whited it out. This one didn't white it out. Don't, don't, don't click it yet. Well, you click that. Look how they do it now. Nessie, but see the original can had the S on it. Nestle's. N E S T L E S. Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. All right. Gerber, this Gerber Gerber. Baby, I think, is still around. Yep. Gerber She's still alive. See, they block it out here. Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. Oh, this one, rep this one represents diarrhea and nausea right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, here you go. Who's that? <laughs> oh. A and W. Right. That was easy. Uh, Monopoly. Notice, notice no monocle. Mr. Pettybag. There. There's the other cow. Laughing cow cheese. Nummy, nummy, nummy. And the, this the isn't even, she's not even, she's not even her anymore. 
Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, one of these it is. Up the feather. Michelin Man, the original. Mr. Ripple, please don't squeeze. Chester. It ain't easy being cheesy. Sleazy. How many does it take to get better than a tootsie pop? Three. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Little Caesars. That was, that was the first time I actually put all the, the pizzas up there. I was like, oh, good. Oh, oh, it is a tough one. To keep the doesn't, banana. That doesn't look like a banana. <laughs> but yeah. Banana. Banana. But that did not look like a... Uh, yeah, you pervert. Captain Crunch! Captain we Captain. Is. We're really not crazy. Capped. Not Cap. Captain. Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. There you go. The fruity Loopsies. That's Toucan Sam. Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Energizer Banani. Um, Serta. <laughs> fruity Pebbles. Cocoa oh, and Fruity. Cocoa Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. Both, yeah. Uh, Aflac. Aflac, yep. Yeah. Aflac. This thing never finish? Oh, here's a tough one. Oh, God. It's um, food. It's yeah, choices. Uh, it's choices. Yeah, it's got to be Burger King. Yeah. But that's, a, that's an old one. I don't oh, even yeah. remember that one. Oh. Us, kids. <laughs> Again, guys, really? Yeah. Count. One. <laughs> no, he, he didn't talk like that. Hey, they just opened up a new one of those here. Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, it's a brand new one just opened up. I couldn't believe they're still opening more, but they just opened a new one. Sunmade raisins. Sun brand. Sun made. Really? Sun I told you. Oh. Well, that's uh, Mario Brother. What, what is it? Super, Super Mario. Mario. Wow. Disney, really? Uh, yeah. I'm done. Oh, honeybee. Yeah. Honey nut Cheerios. Good, because they're just going to keep going, and we're out of time. It's green. And jelly. peed on all of the gardens. Got it, green giant. All right, so I'm going to kill that. Kaboom. And more there are, but it didn't go Kaboom. left. Da, 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 da. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, there's only a few more left. Yeah. No biggie. Okay. Uh, so that's it, man. So... That was as fast as I could go through that. <laughs> awesome. And guess what? I did not have the word of the week this week. Well, because we've been talking food and you started it with the diet thing. And, and I didn't know you were going to do a diet thing. But I did. Was I, what, did the stuff below influence you doing that or no? No. So that just, that just happened to fall into place. Yes. Not crazy. So fast few fast feud. The okay. fast and furious. Fast food restaurants, uh, quick serve restaurants, QSRs, um, are serve fast food cuisine. Um, let me let me read this and see what it's a type of restaurant that serves fast food cuisine, has minimal table service. Okay. Right. Uh, fast food and fast food restaurants are typically part of the Meat sweet diet. I don't know what that means. Offer a limited menu cooked in bulk in advance and kept in hot finished packaging, usually available for takeaway. Well, that has changed. Um, now it's mostly uh, cooked to order, made to order. So it's not fast anymore. Right. So when I say a fast food restaurant is a restaurant where you pay for the food before you get it. Okay. Usually that, that's what I consider a fast food restaurant. Okay. Uh, and which falls into the limited table service, right? It does. Um, so that's, that's the way I associate a fast food restaurant. If you go to Culver's, you pay for the food, they give you a number, you go sit down, and they bring you the food. So that's limited. Yeah. But I still say it's fast food. Okay. So 
arguably, here's the thing I didn't know. The phrase was coined earlier, but in 1921, the first fast food restaurant or originated in the United States was White Castles. Yes. Not yes. I, I, you didn't know that? I didn't know that White Castle had the phrase coined for it for being fast food. Yes. Ah, that, message from the dark side. Oh, dark side. People, he just driving me crazy. I know. It's crazy. But yeah, so kind of crazy that, that that was the first one bringing it back to that. Yes. Fast food. And then, and then I thought it was the Waffle House, but it wasn't. I don't know when the Waffle House was, was made. Uh, yeah. Fast food was added to the dictionary in 51. Uh, but McDonald's came around in 40, KFC in 52. Um, I don't know if there's any other things that are important to this. Value meals, consumer spending, major brands, franchising. Did you know that no White Castles are franchised? They're all owned by White Castle. I did not know that. Yep, they're all owned by White Castle. Oh. In and out is owned all by In and Out. There are no franchises there either, also. So very cool. Uh, trying to see if there's any weird ones in any other countries. Uh, Australia's fast food market began in 1968. New Zealand uh, fast food market didn't start till the 70s. Wow. They didn't get fast food in New Zealand. Uh, and it started with KFC. KFC, then Pizza Hut, then McDonald's. Works for me. Then Burger King came, Domino's came in the 90s. In the 90s. Wow. Pizza Hut. Eagle Boys is a, a pizza place in New Zealand. Pizza, pizza Haven. Those are two different places. But in the 90s, they got fast food. There you go. Uh, but the New Zealand operations are later sold to Pizza Hut and Domino's. Burger Fuel, Burger Fuel came out. That's a that's a uh, fast food place in New Zealand. Cool. Georgie Pie, in 1977. Oh, but it closed. And was bought out by McDonald's. And Hell Pizza. Hell Pizza. Okay, dokey. Cool. It is. Uh, so with that, I I have nothing further to say on fast food. Do you have anything further to say on fast food? I do. Okay. Thank goodness for fast food. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the show to a screeching halt. I would just want to say thank you for watching. I could have just said thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision. You want to add that and make a bad life decision. You want to prove that we make bad life decisions. Prove it. Prove it, damn it. Go down, like our show. Go down to whathappened.world. Uh, hit the link there. Try and connect to our social media. Get on my uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter and um Instagram. Like you can see the stuff that we're doing. Uh, Scott will start posting stuff again, maybe some year. Who knows? Or yeah, we're later. Yeah, you should just start taking pictures of uh, in, in, in another in another girls. I, I should be caught up of girls that you see when you're out in public from behind. That way, there's no rights or anything, and nobody can tell who they are, and we can just have pictures. Of okay. Posting. These are the people we see. Just pictures of people walking away from you. Bye. Yeah. Exactly. So with that, I want you to live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one. Be crazy, uh, and, and